In this tutorial, we'll focus on what's new in Caden Live 24.12.0. Now, Caden Live now supports advanced substation alpha subtitles or .ass subtitles. Now, uh, this is part of the write-up and uh, subtitles, we've added support for advanced substation alpha subtitles, a wide use text-based format renowned for its flexibility in creating highly styled and customizable subtitles. So it supports advanced features such as font family, size, color, text outline, shadows, alignment, positioning, scaling, rotation, and so on and so forth. So I'll leave the link in the description below if you'd like to read. Uh, so you can see a bunch of things right inside here, uh, but let's just open up Caden Live. There we go. It's version 24, as you can see. 24.12.0 and because I already have a video, this video and uh, advanced substation alpha subtitles for this video, I'll just do a quick demonstration. Let's just drag and drop it there and just drop it right there. Now, next up, I'm going to import my subtitle. Right here, you can see a couple of things and you can just make this bigger uh, the way you want. I wish they had just some toggles to make it uh, maximum or at least be of a good size. And from here, you can easily appreciate that the info of this particular subtitle is that it's an advanced substation alpha. It gives you a bunch of options here to know the font, the style, and so on and so forth. Now, as for the UTF, I'll leave it as it is because I know it's UTF minus eight, although, uh, so although it says encoding could not be guessed, I know it, it's using uh, UTF-8. And so I'll click OK. And our subtitles are available for preview. And as you can see, they have all this styling uh, right about there. So this is what everything looks like right there, right there, right there. Our ASS subtitles can now be imported. Now, the reason why this is important is with ASS subtitles, you can do some styling, you can do positioning, different colors, and so on and so forth. So it's really awesome to finally have this in Caden Live. Now, something else that has been introduced is more or less uh, Subtitle Styles Manager. More or less, uh, this is the new Subtitle Styles Manager integrated with Style Management, and it's divided into four sections, Files, Layers, Content, Style. So. How do you get into the style, uh, subtitle manager? Now, pretty simple, uh, three ways. Uh, one is from project, subtitles, manage subtitles, that's option one, files, layers and content, styles, info. Number two, with your subtitle layer here, just click on this drop down, and you can click on manage subtitles and you'll see it again right there. And then the third option is from the subtitles here if you click on one subtitle and then come somewhere here, manage styles, you can see all that you want. Now, these are game changers, especially if uh, you're working with a bunch of different styles. What this means is that you can have different fonts, backgrounds, and a couple of features added to a particular uh, subtitle block. For example, if I click on new style here, Let's say I want to change the font. I'll click on this. And then let's say click inside here and then look for maybe something like Tahoma. And then just click OK. And you can show preview of how it's going to look like. Let's say we go with font size 80. And then let's say we have uh, the background of outline. And then add the outline slightly. Uh, to look like that. Uh, that looks okay. Uh, text color and so on and so forth. So there we go. Let's assume you want it that way. Click okay. Okay, the style name cannot be left empty. Sorry, I forgot that. Let's say Tahoma 80. Just click okay. So now we have a new style right inside there. Let's assume, just click uh, close. Let's assume you're here and you're on this particular subtitle, select it, click on this drop down, click on this, and it changes right there and then. So you can see all the other subtitles have same 
uh, default if I click on this you'll see it's default but if you change it you can just quickly do that on all those particular subtitles you can still manage everything uh, from right inside here uh, you can make it global create a new style for the global or the subtitles here uh, you can see all the information you want you can actually max this uh, the primary color secondary color outline color everything that you want and you can just click on something let's say you click on that style click on edit and make any edits that you want right there and also for the outlines you can change to whatever color you want let's see you want it to be that let's click ok uh, it should change right there well, let's just go for yeah let's go for something custom not sure why the HTML is not changing uh, but let's say we go with that click OK and it changes if we actually close this out and come back here it should change in a way yes it changes right there so it's really really awesome that we can now add uh, ASS or import advanced substation alpha subtitles in Kden live and do a bunch of things with it you can do a lot of things inside KDN Live now. And obviously, maybe the question that's bugging you is, can you export the ASS subtitles? Yes, you can. Let's go to Project, Subtitles, Export Subtitle. And there are only two versions to save us type at the time of recording this video, either an ASS or Subrip. But because we want the styling, let's go with the ASS. And then we can call it Styled ASS Subs. Let's click on Save. If I go to a folder, here's our file, and it's going to open up in IGSub and so on and so forth. But you can always review this. Let's say we review with subtitle edit. Let's say file, open keep video. Let's go with styled, open, and you can see we now have a bunch of things right here. Now, why it's defaulting to the same? Uh, to the to the same color I think it's more or less of a global no yeah there is one that does not have that color but the rest have that color so there's that a uh, couple of things right there uh, but it's good to know that you can do all these things inside KDN Live so KDN Live introduced ASS subtitles just do a bunch of things with it the only issue I have with this particular uh, subtitling slightly is that to set the positioning, let's assume you want this particular thing to go up here, or this particular subtitle to go up here. Let's say it's this one. To set the position is a little bit tricky because you need to come to these three dots right here when you're in the subtitles. Just click on that, set position. If you don't know the coordinates that you want to set your subtitles at, then it's going to be difficult. Let's say we go with 944, and don't ask me why I went with that. That's the X. And the Y, 949, just click OK, it moves up. So you'll see something new here, position. Uh, and if you're not seeing it, it's probably because you have the simple editor on. Uh, but as it is, you can use this to individually position uh, subtitle blocks. So you can see that's different from that and that and that. So that is what's new in Kden Live with regard to subtitles. Uh, you can now uh, import and export ASS subtitles, you can ma manage styles, you can create styles to use for the different subtitles that you have right inside Kden Live. So that's it for this video. I hope it's of value to you. Thanks for watching.